Andy Austin here. I've been released from the attic. Now I've flown to Bratislava for a poop transplant. I'm gonna do more videos on that later. Now I've just gone out for a walk and um, I've just found an outdoor um, ice rink. It's absolutely freezing here. I can't even tell you how cold it is. However, the water is flowing and this is actually just a um, pond, I think, in the park that people are now um, playing ice hockey on. I've got to be honest, I think they're a lot braver than I am. It's not something I would personally um, be chancing, but who knows? I've just seen the guy jumping up and down on the ice just to see how strong the whole thing is. So, um, yeah, flew in last night from UK, had to go via Italy. It took all day. Door to door was 12 hours. The actual flight time was two hours. Had to go via Rome after countless form filling. Printed off 50 pages, 50 pages of printing to show the um, officials at various border ports to show that, you know, I'm completely COVID free and all the rest of it. Forms that absolutely no one was interested in. No one checked whatsoever. Now I have to say though, Ryanair, despite having possibly the worst website known to man, trying to book something on there is impossible. They were the only flight operator actually coming into Bratislava that I was able to, uh, that matched up with the dates that I needed. Oh, getting short breath. Yeah, and so despite a terrible website, I've got to say Ryanair and their appalling reputation, very, very good. Um, Fortin service, um, looked after the whole way. And of course the plane was virtually empty, well, both planes. The airports were virtually empty. So if you want to fly, now is a very good time to fly. Once you have finished spending an entire day filling in the forms that absolutely no one's gonna look at. Now, I'm gonna head back to the hotel because I wanna show you where I'm staying. I'm literally the only person in the building. It's very spooky. So one of the things I've got to be really careful of is not to put my key card next to my phone. You know how that thing, how it erases it? Well, if that happens here, I'm screwed. I'm literally the only person here. They left me the key card in a security box I picked up on the way in. So I have my key card kept well away from my phone. Let me show you the hotel. The place is huge. It's actually attached to the clinic where I'm getting treatment. Now, let me show you. So this is reception, but there's nobody here. <laughs> All right, we come through this one. Someone's waiting to open. There's people here. There is signs of life. someone waits the door open but I can't hear any sounds of anybody here I was here on my own last night very spooky being in an empty hotel still it's a great place right here is my room the lights will probably make a flicker on the uh, on the video because haha right flickering begins right let me show you around here is my room where I'll be for the next two weeks. This is not the treatment room, this is the hotel room. The clinic's next door. And um, let me just show you the ligatory bathroom. Well, I suspect I'm gonna be spending a lot of time there this afternoon. I'm beginning the, um, the bowel prep this afternoon. Don't worry, I'll film the whole thing. So this will be my home for the next 12 hours, I think. Right, I'll see you in the next video.